Hello, I'm Rob with Crutchfield's Commercial and Pro Audio team, and today we're going to talk about parallel wiring in your commercial 70 volt audio system. Um, for this demonstration, we're going to be looking at the Atlas SM52 speakers, uh, a pair of the Atlas uh, AT100D wall mountable volume controls. Uh, the Atlas AA50 commercial amplifier, and I've gone ahead and pre-cut some speaker wire for us to use in our demonstrations. So first thing I want to do is talk about the concept of parallel wiring. Uh, parallel just means that the same connectors are being used across multiple units, and by that I mean that when we trace the common, the ground line, it's the same terminal on every piece of equipment that we're using, whether it's speakers, whether it's the volume controls, or any combination of those. So there's two sort of concepts. Home running, which is going from a speaker directly back to the amp, the source, or from your volume control back to the source. Or daisy chaining, which is taking a line from one unit to the next unit to the next, and so on and so on. So our first configuration is our daisy chain, direct daisy chain situation. On the back of our 70 volt amplifier, you'll notice that I've wired up the red into the 70 volt and the black into the calm or common ground. And what we do want to do is just follow that through the whole system. So our 70 volt is our positive, our common is our negative. So when we get to our first speaker, we want to make sure that we've got positive and negative set up for our red and black wires respectively. And then what we're going to do is you see here I've got two lines coming in and out of that same set of terminals. And what we do when we jump from one speaker to the next is just line up those terminals again. Red to our positive, black to our negative. And that's what we call a daisy chain configuration from the amp speaker. speaker. And you could continue this process on out to however many speakers you have in your system uh, provided you're going to be controlling all of those speakers from the amplifier. The next configuration we're going to take a look at is if you've got two speakers, but they're both, say, instead of having this and it makes sense to run from one speaker to the next, maybe it makes more sense for you to have one speaker on one side of the room, the other speaker on the other side of the room, and the amplifier sort of in the middle of the room. And we're going to do two home runs back to the same amplifier. Also, still technically in parallel. I'll show you that. Alright, so now we've got our system still wired in parallel but with two home runs. One from one speaker, one from the other speaker, and we're just matching up that positive to the 70 volt, positive to the 70 volt, that's our red wire on each, and then the minus to our common on each of those two runs. Still in parallel still able to control the volume of both speakers from one location. Now, what if you need to have a separate volume control zone? Say this speaker is in your main restaurant and you want to have that independent from your uh, restroom speakers or your lounge area. What we would then do is introduce volume controls in line and we'll show that in the dual home run configuration. And then we'll show a daisy chained configuration for that as well. And I'll walk you through the wiring for that. So now we've got a situation where we've got our source coming from our amplifier out to our first volume control. That's gonna control our first speaker, our first speaker zone. And uh, the volume controls are labeled amp minus and plus and speaker minus and plus. 
setup. So the red goes to our positive, black goes to our negative, and then daisy chaining the input from the volume control to the next volume control means that this is not attenuating this volume control at all. So the same signal is passing from the amp basically in parallel daisy chain down to our second volume control, which then will control the volume at our next speaker. And this could go on and on and on, however many volume control zones you have. And then these speakers, just as we showed before, could be daisy chained multiple speakers in each volume control zone. And now I'm going to show you a dual home run setup with the volume controls and the speakers. And this will be our last setup for this demo. All right. So now we've got our dual home run set up here. So as you can see, we've got both home runs wired out to our inputs on our volume controls. Following that same parallel wiring, making sure all of our positives are in the positive, all of our common is in the negatives. And then from the outputs of each volume control, out to our speaker zones. So this will allow us to have our master volume here, our individual zone volumes at each location, but without having to necessarily daisy chain them, same as our speakers. Of course, if it makes sense for you to daisy chain on from this one to go to multiple zones off in that direction, or from this one in that direction, or multiple speakers in each volume control area, you can do that. That's what 70 volt distributed audio systems are really great for. And of course, if you have any questions about any of this, you can always contact us at the Commercial Audio Department at Crutchfield. Thank you for watching.